What a blessing it is to have the top tiers of leadership all here assembled today in this house. Let's give God the praise for that. What a blessing it is to be in the presence of such greatness. We are highly honored today to have in our presence a man who has literally changed the world through his ministry. He's a pastor with a shepherd's heart. He recently emeritized himself after serving over 50 years as the senior pastor of the West Angeles Church of God in Christ. Over the years, he's mentored thousands of pastors across the country and around the world by saying, follow me home. And he's freely shared the secrets of being a good pastor to everyone who would listen. He's a well of wisdom, and he's truly distinguished himself as a global leader, as one of the most traveled prelates of, or in the history of the Church of God in Christ. He's a benevolent leader. He's given hundreds of thousands of dollars to missions efforts, not only the Church of God in Christ, but around the world, everywhere. And let's not forget the fact that he established Africa's Children, Save Africa's Children, an organization that sponsored orphanages and medical missions projects all over the African continent. 1 Corinthians 9.22 says, I have become all things to all men that I may by all means save some. Bishop Blake is truly a man who has versatility in his ministry. He can adapt to any situation and thrive in the pulpit. Ask me how I know. I traveled with him to the World Pentecostal Conference in Brazil. And there he preached with an interpreter and no music. And the anointing hit him in the middle of his message. And he began to hoop like he was in Memphis. He electrified an audience of people speaking different language from all around the world. They never heard any preaching like that before. He was truly the highlight of that conference. Bishop Blake is truly a servant leader. For more than 20 years, he served as a prelate of the first jurisdiction, and then he was elevated to the general board, where he served for another 20 years. He eventually became the presiding bishop and chief apostle of this church, and as the chief apostle of this great church, he made several landmark achievements that time would not permit me to enumerate. But let me tell you, he's an author, he's a great leader, he's a successful businessman, a mentor, a prolific teacher, a fine example of apostolic leadership. Please stand to your feet and let us receive the presiding bishop emeritus of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop Charles Edward Blake. Clap your hands and give praise to God Almighty. He loved us, led us, blessed us, preserved us. How many of you are glad to be alive tonight? You may be seated. To Bishop Cholo Healy, my bishop. Let's praise God for him. Presiding Bishop J. Drew Shear. Given excellent leadership to the Church of God in Christ. He operates efficiently and with wisdom. He loves people, he loves God. He loves the work of the Lord. He loves progress and honesty and responsibility. I think we need to praise God for our jurisdictional bishop. <laughs> fellow bishops here present, fellow first jurisdictional administrative assistants with the administrative assistants, please, let's stand and let's praise God for them. Amen. 
My dear brother, Bishop, Bishop J. J. A. Blake, Jr., and his lovely wife, Lady Dorothy Blake. Praise God for my brother. We honor the supervisor of women of this jurisdiction, Sister Barbara Bryant. Barbara McCool Lewis, let's praise God for her. Most wonderful woman in the world, Lady May Blake. I've got two sons here tonight. Pastor Charles Blake the second. His lovely wife, Sister Deandra Blake. And my other son, who is serving as my adjutant on this night, Elder Lawrence Blake. Let's praise God. And I greet you all in the wonderful, powerful name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus a hand. All but seven years of my 83 years of life have been lived right here in the state of California. I love California. I love the first jurisdiction. I love you. And I'm overjoyed to be here at home with you on tonight. Thank you for all your love, your support, your kindness that you've extended on this night. I am deeply touched and my heart is fluttering and my stomach is jumping and My voice is weak. I'm just touched by the love that you've extended to me, not only tonight, but throughout my entire life in the Church of God in Christ. Thank you, I love you. Whatever I am, whatever I have been, I owe much of it to the wonderful input and support of the people of Southern California, Church of God in Christ. Give yourselves a hand. I just want to say again, Bishop, J. Drew Sheard is a tremendous leader who loves God, who loves the church, and under whom I'm proud to serve as a member of the Church of God in Christ. Thank you, Bishop Sheard. Thank you, Bishop Sheard, for your excellent leadership. Thank you for your service to our great church. Thank you for the sacrifices you're making. Thank you for the love that you've expressed. I love Bishop J. Drew Sheard, and I hope you love him too. I'm excited about hearing your message. We're looking forward to hearing the word of God. You be seated just for a moment. I'm excited about hearing the word of God from the lips of our presiding bishop. I'm looking forward to the word of God. But may I please testify just for a minute. You've heard me say before, if what you would do for God does not require a miracle that will give God glory, he will 
cut down your resources and your assets. So you will require a miracle that will give him glory. God will reduce your resources so he can get glory. But if you give him glory, God will make a way for you and perform miracles in your life. Los Angeles Church of God in Christ. Wonderful church that's doing great things for God. We started buying land almost 50 years ago here in the city of Los Angeles. Within that time, we struggled and worked and labored and prudently set aside resources so that we could finance and support the work that God had given us to do. 50 years ago, we started buying lot by lot, parcel by parcel. Within that time, however, the financial crunch came and the Crenshaw Corridor was facing an economic depression. Up and down Crenshaw, there were businesses that were defunct and out of business. There were businesses that folded and the whole automotive industry that really supported and guided the Crenshaw Corridor vacated and businesses closed and the Crenshaw Corridor was very weak economically facing an economic depression. But we labored with generous givers and supporters, helped us. We were facing an economic depression, but we were able to build the cathedral. I think it was a pretty good little church, don't you? built it, but we needed an economic miracle to pay for it. We got one of the largest loans that a church, local church, has ever made in the city of Los Angeles. And it was a record that even the bankers were amazed and surprised. But we borrowed the money, built the cathedral, and have worshiped there and been blessed by God in that area. But with the economic depression, we needed a miracle to pay West Angeles off and to support the cost of its operation. But after a while, political leadership soon designated our community as an opportunity zone. And as time went by, by the grace of God, investors became interested in the economic development that was to take place in the Crenshaw Corridor. Have you noticed all the new buildings up and down Crenshaw? The new that's taking place, that was with the help of faithful members and by the grace of Almighty God. But we, as we moved ahead, wanted to go ahead and expand and get the burden of debt off and move into the future. And so we prayed to God and sought God. By the grace of God, an investor hearing about the Opportunity Zone and the wonderful things that were taking place began to invest along with others in the Crenshaw Corridor, and of course had great interest in the more than 18 lots of land that we owned at the time in the Crenshaw Corridor and other developments that we were associated with. But they bought some of our land and they paid a profit for that land to a great degree 
enough to pay off the cathedral. And then we paid it off and we burned the mortgage. But not only do we earn enough to take care of the cathedral itself, God blessed us also to sell and to, to build, I beg your pardon, the Family Life Center. <laughs> Paid off all debts, built the Family Life Center, built the cathedral, and now we're ready to praise God for being a debt-free church. I encourage pastors, buy land. Not just the land you want to have your church in, but buy land because land appreciates in value. And you from that value can do even greater things at the church. Look at somebody and tell them God is able. I read in the word of God, John 14 and 13, Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, that will I do. And when you tell two people, God will do it. And in Psalm 133 and 3, says, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life evermore. I just came by to tell you that God will command a blessing for you. Tell your neighbor, God will command a blessing. God will command a blessing for you. The Bible says now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, that we may ask our thing. God will do it. I wish I could get somebody to believe it. I still see you in the future. And you look much better than you look right now. God loves you, and God will do anything that needs to be done for you, that you might rise higher and higher every day. I just wanted to encourage somebody. God placed millions of dollars in our hands to do his work and to bring glory to his name. I just want to come by and tell you that God did it for me. God will do it for you too. I'll see you in the future. And you look much better than you look right now. Clap your hands and praise Almighty God. I wish somebody would help me praise him. Come on, praise him, somebody. The Lord hath done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Come on, give him praise in this house. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Then praise him right now. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. You may be seated. Well, thank the Lord. Hey, glory to God. Oh, bless his name. God is able. God is able. I heard somebody say, you got the faith. God's got the power. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Come on and praise him, somebody. 
Hallelujah. Our bishop just spoke faith in our lives. He just spoke faith. He told you to believe, trust God, and God can do anything. If there's a miracle that you need from God, I dare you to praise him right now for the miracle that he's about to deposit in your life. Can you praise him like it's already done? What is it that you need from God? What is it you're asking God to do? I dare you to praise him like it's already done. Come on, church. Praise him like it's already done. It's already done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, in the name of Jesus, it's already done. You're speaking into somebody's life. Come on, turn to one another neighbor and prophesy to them and say, neighbor, in the name of Jesus, it's already done. I dare you to find one more neighbor. Reach back and tell them, oh, neighbor, in the name of Jesus, hey, you know what I'm going to say? It's already done. Now come on, praise him like it's already done. Hallelujah. Because I trust him, I can praise him. Because I believe him, I can magnify him. Before I see it. Hey, Shanda. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. I gotta get the bishop up. I gotta get the bishop up. Yeah, I gotta get the bishop up. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a miracle in here. I feel it. I feel it in my soul. There's a miracle. Somebody's about to have a miracle deposited in your life. The Holy Spirit said, while you're praising him, hey, he's working it out. While you're blessing him, he's doing it right now. I tell you to bless him, cause your miracle is in progress. Heaven that I say, your miracle is in progress in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. All right, all right, all right. Have a seat, have a seat. Have a seat. No, oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, glory. Mm, Shanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can, take your seat. I'm going to behave. Oh, you didn't start it now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a healing right over there. And I don't know who this is. God said, praise him for your healing right over here. Praise him right over there. That's right. There's a healing right over there. Come on, praise him for it. There she is. Lift up your hands, darling. He's doing it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Ah, shut him up. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, ho, oh, oh, oh. I got to keep on schedule. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Where's Bishop Thomas? Stand up, Bishop. 
Bishop Gibson, please go lay your hands on him right now, please. Thomas, yeah, right over there. Touch Thomas right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak a healing miracle in his life. Come on, help me pray. In the name of Jesus, right now, I rebuke and I cancel the assignment of the enemy against this man of God in the name of Jesus and I decree a healing miracle in his life right now somebody help me praise him for that miracle I cancel the assignment of the enemy and I decree victory I decree victory hallelujah alright sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down, sit down. I'm hurrying, Bishop. I'm hurrying, Bishop. I'm hurrying, Bishop. In the name of Jesus. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Hallelujah.